All right, now let's talk about your major scales. We're going to start with concert G, and if you're following along on your scale sheet, concert G starts on A. Concert anything always starts on the next letter in the alphabet. Concert G starts on A. Concert A flat starts on B flat. Concert B flat starts on C. Concert C starts on D. Concert D flat starts on E flat. Concert E flat starts on F. Concert F starts on G. It's always the next letter. You'll notice the pattern. So with concert G, we start on A. This is your low A. A is one and two. And there's three sharps in the key signature. There's an F sharp, a C sharp, and a G sharp. When you play a G sharp, you're going to use two and three. The C sharp is one, two, and three. An F sharp is going to be second valve. <laughs> Now, pulling out your slide for D is important. C sharp is even more important. Here's the scale a little bit faster. The next scale we have is concert C. Your starting note is D, and there are two sharps in the scale, is F sharp and C sharp. I tell my students that this scale rhymes. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. The next scale going down the list is concert F, and this one starts on a G. There's one sharp, and this scale is two octaves long. So it starts on low G, which is one and three, The next scale is concert B flat, most people's favorite. The key signature, there's nothing in the key signature. And this is most people's favorite because there are no sharps, there are no flats to think about. Next scale is concert E flat. Concert E flat starts on F, there's one flat, and it's B flat. This scale is easy to finger through because the majority of it is first and open, with the exception of the A, which is the third note. But the rest of it is one open, one open. So it's a pretty simple finger pattern. The next scale is concert A flat. It starts on a B flat, and there are two flats in it. There's B flat and E flat. E flat is two and three, and B flat is first.
when you kick out for the D, make sure you pull the slide back in when you, before you play an E flat. Otherwise, the E flat will be very, very flat. The chromatic scale. Now, if you have trouble with your chromatic scale, most of you have a book with a finger chart in the back or in the front. Feel free to look at the fingering chart. This starts on G below the staff, and it goes up to E and then back down. to think about the chromatic scale in triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three.